For their first evening of hunting in the African bush, Wade and Steve are joined by our trusty cameraman, Kevin, and Wade's father-in-law, Pat, eager to take in every sight and sound as they cruise through the area. The first day of hunting was uh, what, what, what the people in camp called a slow day. So we got out in the afternoon and, and went out with an idea of what we saw and kind of make a game plan from there based on the animals. Didn't really know what to expect first time out. And so when we went into the bush the first afternoon, it still was kind of wide open. What are we going to see? How are we going to hunt them? What are we going to have to go through to actually get a good shot on them? Alrighty, I just want you guys to stay directly behind me okay. as we go and okay. get a pretty cool close shot, I guess. Okay. See if we see something. That first evening, it became apparent pretty quickly that this was not going to be the African hunting I assumed it would be. I had some expectations coming in, and it ended up far exceeding those as far as uh, the quality of hunting and how hard it can be to hunt these animals. Almost immediately into their stalking, the group has stumbled upon an impressively sized harder beast. So, get yourself ready. Get a couple of sticks. Get the feel of them if you want to go left and right. Push on the back end and just hold the front exactly like that. All right. Just hold it there. That's further than it looks to. Yeah, I dialed up the scope a little bit. That's about 200. <laughs> 300, actually. That's further than it looks. I just ranged it. There's a calf on the right. I see it. They're both in there now. That's further than we want to take a shot right now. As Dale continues leading our team through the bush, a large kudu bull is spotted with several kudu cows in the distance. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Oh, I had these bushes right in the middle. I tried, I tried to raise it up a little bit when I did that, he moved. That's all right. Sorry about that. Sorry Sorry be that. comfortable, don't, don't take a risky shot. At the end of the evening, as we're cruising around at the edge of, a, of, of what's the first really open field I've seen in several hours, Dale, our PH, looks over the corner and says, there's a warthog. And now, the task of tracking this wild warthog begins. There it is. Just be ready. Yep. It's lying in a strange way. What's that? Lying in a little bit of a strange way. Nope, done. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very well much. Done. That's awesome. Good shot. What a first uh, little venture out on a safari in Africa. I don't even know where to start. I mean, we saw a heart of beast, ran into a couple of monster kudu. We've been cruising around for a better part of an hour or two and got off and got on foot and all of a sudden animals again everywhere. And luckily, off to my left, I think probably the pH is right at that point, there was a, a couple of big tusks sitting on the edge of the woods. Then I was told where to put the shot. Luckily I did as I was told. Um, here he is, what a cool experience and a great, great way to start this Africa trip. Congratulations, Steve, on harvesting the first animal of this African safari adventure.